The long-awaited Galagos Ruins update is coming this Thursday to the North American servers. Before we get started, don't forget about the winter event. It loads up in another browser window so it can be easily forgotten. Also, the Season 4 Battle Pass just got announced, and this time we're getting Zhang Fei, the Fire Panda. I will do a spotlight on him down the road, but all you need to know is that he is an S-tier monster in PvP for both Orbia and Kina. He's not so great in most PvE situations, so I'll let you decide if you think this battle pass is worth it. The Galagos runes will challenge you to complete four levels with multiple stages filled with traps, monsters, and treasures. In order to participate, you will need to unlock the White Shadow Castle raid boss. Upon entering the new dungeon, the menu will appear and you will be greeted with the seasonal buffs to monsters, attributes, and summoners. These will change every season, causing you to rethink your strategy and what monsters to bring with you. The ruins will contain many floors, with each floor having challenge stages along the way. These challenge stages could be filled with monsters, some with treasures, and others with traps. Conquering each stage will finally lead you to a boss room, whom you must defeat to proceed deeper into the ruins. You will have to first choose 25 to 30 total monsters to bring with you. This is somewhat laughable as most of us barely have a dozen built monsters, but this will give us some drive to actually go out and build some of those monsters. Hopefully the devs will give us more breath of life so we can actually build these monsters. As usual, each stage will allow you to bring up to three monsters. Some stages though are quite easy and can likely be done with just your summoner alone. Now why would you do this and not just bring all of your monsters with you? Well, it's because there is a system implemented in the Galagos runes all about monster energy. Monsters that are used inside of a battle will get energy used. As you use that monster more and more, they may lose all of their energy and not be able to be used at all in the following stages. So it might be a viable strategy for you to only bring one monster or even no monsters in order to preserve certain monsters energy for later rounds. After many different stages, you will be granted with a choice of three buffs, which you can choose from. Some buffing your summoners, others buffing your monsters, and some to specific attributes. There are even some stages that give you a choice to re-energize some of your monsters. In this case, the Bernard is quite a good one for trap stages, so Storyteller chose to re-energize him. The rewards will range from runes, equipment, and other rewards like Breath of Life, Rune and Gravestones, Magic Essence, and even gems for your equipment. As you progress deeper into the ruins, the stages will get more and more difficult. It seems by the end though that 30 monsters is probably overkill and it's best to not necessarily bring your strongest monsters, but rather a variety of skills and traits. After completing the ruins, you can head over to the Galagos Ruins Shop, where you can spend your hard-earned runes coins. This will be similar to a raid shop where you can save up coins for powerful items. In the shop, you've got LD scrolls, Devilmon, and even packs of gold. That one breath of life for 250 coins though, that's an absolute scam. The seasons for Galagos Ruins appears to coincide with that of Brawl Arena and Regular Arena, so about four weeks. The update on Thursday will also be coming with the addition of the Appearance Shop, where you can go back and customize the base appearance of your summoners, and I'm sure that new hairstyles, colors, and other modifications will likely be coming down the road. There are also a couple new events happening, so make sure to be checking your events tab often. I'm looking forward to completing the new content with you guys. I'm going to be streaming the new content live next Thursday, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to know when that's happening. If you liked the video and this quick update, make sure to leave a like on it. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. As always, I'm Topher Smurf telling you to keep on gaming.